going on there everybody and welcome back to a very long time coming of trucking with eye vision it's been a while since we've last had an episode part of it's just due to there hasn't been a lot going on in american truck simulator and the other fact is i've been busier than all get out so we're gonna hop in here we've got our load here for walmart uh, we're going to Wameka. So it's a nice 279 mile journey there. So a nice little, nice little run up here on, uh, on US 50. Then over on to uh, Nevada 305. The good old 305. All the way up there to Wameka. So that's what we've got going on for our journey. This is a external contract. It is a World of Trucks contract. And uh, so that's what's going on. Plus, I can tell you about the event that they have going on currently, uh, and that is, uh, oh, what is it? So many doubles, so many miles, uh, then they give you, like, a skin or something, or your, uh, your homepage there. So, but you gotta do it all as World of Trucks contracts, and I think we, uh, we get her stuck, we got her stuck on the pole. Who does that? Ooh, does it, like we didn't even pull out of here and we're already getting stuck. That's not good. Oh, come on, baby. There we go. So we'll see how this journey goes. Lots to talk about. Lots going on. Lots not going on either. And it's just we'll see what happens. Uh, but I know it's been a very long time, guys. And uh, I do apologize. I know content's been coming out, but at a very slow, slow pace. And so, part of it's just there isn't really been much that's coming out. But, if you guys are emergency fans, uh, Silver has announced that Emergency 20 will be releasing October 27th, I believe is what they said. And so, that will be for 20 years of Emergency Series, which is exciting. Uh, they're, what they're doing is they're putting, I think it's the 20 best missions between all of the games into one. I don't know how that's going to work. Like, I'm kind of nervous about it. Like, are they going to redo do the gameplay for it? Like, what are the graphics going to be? Are they keeping it the original? Like, are you going to be floating between, like, Emergency 3, 4 style graphics up to whatever, you know, like, it's, so it's going to be interesting. They haven't really announced too, too much about it, but I'm really looking forward to it and excited, and we'll see how that goes. But, uh, so we got that coming. American Truck Simulator New Mexico is coming, guys. It is coming. It knows when it's coming, though. You know, they, SCS hasn't officially announced a release date, uh, but they, it's been in like, their beta for like a month now, just over a month, I think. And so, it's got to be close. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I really am. We need something new. We haven't really had much. You know, doubles and triples and quadruples. I think I've seen a quadruple trailer out there. Like, yeah, that's nice, but mm, I want somewhere else to go. It's hard to see in the same scenery, but uh, we'll see. And hopefully that'll bring the community back a little bit too. I think longer that this game's gone without new map content, that uh, the community's kind of gone back more towards ETS, ETS two, which I just realized is the same game. So whatever there, but it's, it's the, the community's just over there. A lot more than they are with ATS, which there's nothing wrong with that. It is what started everything, after all. But so that's what we got going on there. Fun, fun times. Newsroom. Uh, we've still been doing our 911 operator viewer cities. It's, uh, it's an interesting. I think we've done so much now. Like, I think that game's just gone and. Like, yeah, we're going to different areas, but, like, all the calls are, are the same, and you're not seeing many differences. Like, some of the maps are overlapping other towns, and it's, uh, I think, I think it's almost run past its time as we've done everything we can with it. 
so I'm trying to think of what else we can really do other than that. You know, we'll do emergency once that gets released. That'll be exciting. Uh, what else? YouTube has announced sponsorships for everybody, so that's kind of not really good. The way it's set up is just dumb right now. Like, it's only on for live channels and gaming channels, per se. Like, it should make it so, so that way it's for everybody. You know, if you want, if you got a favorite subscriber you like on YouTube, and you want to give them five bucks a month, you put it posting up videos, then why not? You know, the way they're doing it, it's like, uh, well, let's, let's do it live. Like, I just don't know, you know? So, but then that comes to the other question of like, okay, I thought that would be kind of cool to, you know, to do, right? Like, let's enable it. Problem is, I want to give you guys something to make it worth your money. You know, the content's great, right? Like, hopefully, hopefully the content's great. But in case the content is not great, you know, you guys need some other stuff, you know? So, what, like, what do we do? Like, what type of emojis shall we use? You know, like, that's the type of stuff we need to come up with. You know, and that's when we come up with the ideas for the emojis. You know, then from there we gotta find someone to draw them up and whatnot. But, I'm definitely open to suggestions on that stuff if anybody has anything, because we're riding this guy hard. Real hard. Like, pick up the pace, man. But, uh, so, ooh, hey. Truckyard grave. Blow up time there for that. No. Photo mode. Like, that's cool. Where's that guy at? There you are. How cool is that? Can we get him from the uh, the side here, maybe? Let's kind of swing over here. Oh, look at this. Nice. Nice. We don't want to get the tree. So that's good there. Sort of the blurriness here, right? Right? Don't want that. Nice. That'll be a good photo. I like that. That truck there. <clears throat> so, it, oh, yeah, we could show you that. You can see that we're doing the World of Truck job. Progress. Um, and that's like actual game, not game time, but real life time that I have to get this contract delivered. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Like, if you know you got, like, a delivery, say maybe you only got, like, 20 minutes right now, but you want to start that job, no, as long as you're gonna get back in time and have enough time to complete that delivery, you know, if you leave and then come back, like that's a more power to you, you know. Now granted you could do that with regular contracts too. You can drive down the side of the road, pull over into a rest area or just down the side, save the game and come back later too. But this kind of gives it a little bit more realistic this to it. So that's all that. I'm telling you guys, I'm like super busy with work. And it is driving me nuts. Me and my boss got into a big, pretty big fight. Like it, it was it was a long overdue. It really was. Like you know, you guys work at places and then you know, like you see stuff that happens, but nobody ever speaks up about it, right? Well, I just got to the point where I'm not biting my tongue no. So I didn't bite my tongue the other day in a meeting, and let's just say it led to other things. So, you know, it's funny because then I'm like talking to like people that I'd worked with in past organizations before, and was like explaining to them everything, and they're like, "What is going on there?" You know, and so it's just like, and you got other people that are like, "Oh, don't say nothing," like you know, bite your tongue because they might screw you later on. So it's, it's like it's 50 50 on how people like view the situation because it's like you got one half who's like don't speak up like just deal with it you know because you don't want to get screwed and they got another half that are like dude you got to speak up you know like that's not right hey we'll get another truck just pass one up like that we're doing circles so it's it's just crazy and uh so i don't know what to do you know it's 50 50. I'm not too concerned about hurting my career. If anything, that leaves me more time to do this. You know, that means full-time streams. So, 
And we've got a great, great community. You guys, you guys are awesome. Over 1,000 subscribers, which is just huge, you know. And I know it, it's like nothing compared to a lot of other channels out there. But to sit there and grind away and to get a thousand people to enjoy what you do is truly remarkable. You know, and I love you guys to stick through it all and hang out is just, you gotta applaud yourselves as well. So, oh good, all these guys are going to Tonopah. Bye bye. This. Our load to Walmart. Good old load. We got these uh, lights on here. I like this Kenworth though. This Kenworth truck is real nice. There we go. Oh yeah. Let's see, we'll kind of get around here a bit. Oh, look at that. Look at that driving skills. Whoops. Okay. Gotta slow down here. Coming through town. Gonna be hitting that 305 there. How's our fuel? Order of a tank. I think we're good. I think we're good. As long as we don't nick that sign. Oh, look at that yellow truck. So, good old times, you know, for me. So, hopefully, you know, it's, it's funny because I don't travel as much uh, the first. Uh, I should say the first part of the year here, but the uh, the back half of the year here, like I was last year, I was on the road a lot. I'm actually home more this year, so hopefully that means more content. Uh, but at the same time, it also showed up to not really be more content. And uh, part of it's just getting tired of playing the same stuff and want to give you guys something new. You know, we've had a ton of emergency for, and, that, and like I've just gotten worn out from it. You know, we've been doing it for so long. My truck like that. No, there we go. I was like, I didn't feel like we were getting anywhere. But, uh, it's just crazy. Look at this guy just on the side here. He's trying to pass, but ain't having it, bro. Ain't having it. So, that's just... So, we'll see. But the emergency four, like I said, I'm just... Like, that's where the majority of my subscribers came from. But it's, uh, it's tired me out. So we've done everything. There's not been nothing really new. Hopefully with Emergency 20, you know, it'll give us something new to come to. And uh, we can go from there. But we'll see. We'll definitely take a seat. A little peek and see what happens. I'm sure eventually we'll find something new. I, don't, I just don't know what, you know? It's got to be something I enjoy, but then uh, also get some viewers. Know. I know I've done a lot of stuff where I haven't gotten a ton of viewers and I've kind of kept going and pushing through thinking that it would come but uh, we gotta let this guy pass he's been, he's been trying for a while oh boy no. but uh, you know we'll see it really wasn't a great year I thought for, for video games to be honest I didn't really think there's much that came out that I was like I gotta, gotta play it but uh, we did definitely try some new things this year. But we'll probably do like a... We kind of cool to do like a look back in the year of like games that we tried and whatnot. I think that'd be kind of neat. You know, to see where, where that's at. So that could be something we do too. Um, it's different. And I've never done that before. I, you know, I'm sure there's other uh, YouTubers that have. But content creators that's what we that's what we call ourselves on our resume content creators right we'll see but other than that what's a, what's a good shooter you guys recommend right now like I'm looking for a shooter to it's kind of like a stress reliever I'm actually really kind of looking for to Star Wars Battlefront 2 I'm like that looks really really good like, I got the first one, and it's like, eh. But this second one here looks really good. I'm kind of looking forward to that. I never played Rainbow Six Siege. Because I played it when it was in beta. And I was like, hmm. Like, it was cool, but it wasn't like, man, I gotta play it. Now I've kind of, like, 
I've seen more of it, and I know the game's been out for over a year now, but I kind of want it. So I don't know. So like that could be something too. But definitely, if you guys got any suggestions, you know, I'll definitely take them. Something to play. Way my down on my free time, as I call it. But really, if I'm playing another game in my free time, I probably should be recording something for you guys. We'll see. I definitely keep up on everything, though, for the most part, like news and whatnot and what's going on, even if I'm not recording content. If we try to keep up and see what's going on, because changes happen all the time. Like that hang glider up there. But, yeah. So, lots of stuff that nice. It's beautiful. Beautiful sunset over there. As the sun's faded away. Or, here she is. She's fading down into the mountains. Uh, I feel like we gotta be close here. Yeah. 49 more miles to go. And we haven't even been doing the speed limit, really. Like, the truck's just not getting there. I mean, our 43,500 pounds of used pallets or empty pallets. A lot of weight for uh, empty pallets. Just imagine if they were full. We'd be at 25,000 pounds because the game has some weird weight numbers. That just doesn't make sense sometimes. It really doesn't. Like, we've got empty pallets here that weigh 43,000 pounds. There's loads that you would take with pallets, per se. You know, if you were to technically think they were, they were on pallets, they weigh less. You know, 30,000 pounds, 36,000 pounds. So, it's just interesting how that all works out. But, alright, looks like we got a turn here. Start slowing down. I want to pass this guy up. We're uh, taking a little bit of the expressway here. Well, Highway 5, actually, maybe. Not really sure. 80. We're on 80. That's what we're on. Don't know why I said 5. I thought one of the signs said 5. That sunset, the way it shines through, really cool. Look at those people in that hot air balloon are excited for it too. They got the top down, cruising. And that glare though. Oh, do we gotta get off? I think so. I think we gotta get off. We gotta follow this guy. Lameka. Okay, here's the other question. If it's a turn only lane, do you guys put on your directionals? you get off the highway like something like that like the lane line was already so far away but it's so far back like would you still turn on your directional like I'm 50 50 on it like some like I would I say even more than 50 50 I like 80% of the time I'll have my directional on and just keep it on most whack sign and there's like been a few times where I've like noticed so it's like okay I got over into the lane now it's a while down before we actually get off but it gets off only like yeah keep your you know like that directional on and keep it on or what do you do oh this guy here look at that broski there no yep. Coming in just at the good old nick of time here. And there's no policeman. We're cruising. Cruising through town. There it is, that hot air balloon. He ain't really moving though. He's definitely just watching the sunset. Oh. That's quite the uh quite the run we've had here. That's for sure. It's been it's been fun. It's been a while since I've actually played, so we didn't take it a load. 
across the bridge over into the Walmart distribution center. How oh, amazing is the turn in here? Yep. Oh, it's a bro dude just hanging out. Yo, yo. Just dropping our load. This guy's like, it's about time. I gotta lift some skids around. This guy's waiting here too. Like, Jesus. Everybody's just hanging out. This will be fun to rank around, eh? This guy's here to watch the show. Like, you guys are gonna mess up. Oof. This will be fun. We're gonna jackknife it. Jackknife too much. There we go. Ooh, that's gonna be close. Wow. That's some skill right there. I'm definitely not a novice. Definitely not a novice. Now, where my novice comes in, though, is backing this stuff up. Because I can't see. I can't see, so. This is where my noviceness comes in. Cause I can't really judge this either. Like, I, like, how do you guys judge? Judge this. Like, I don't want to swing it in too early, but I don't want to swing it in too late. We got it though. Oh man, that's looking really good. Even though we're kind of cheating per se. Oh, swing that bad boy. Let's uh, pull her out a bit here. Try and straighten her out. Oh yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. But I'm like so focused on this. Like super focused from the other way. Yeah. Yeah, that looking good right there. Mm -hmm. There she is. Look at all that room we got now. See, now I can probably like figure this out. Like, yeah, maybe not. It's just so like can't really see. That's what drives me nuts. Oops. Like I feel like it's different in real life trucks. Cause maybe it's not. I don't I mean I don't know. I've never driven. So it'd be kind of interesting to find out though. We'll drop our load here. It's not that bad. Not that bad. Synchronizing with our world of trucks. Excellent day. Look at that. See, we are a instructor, except we cannot reverse. We only teach driving forward. That's all we do here. But that's going to do it for me, guys. This was trucking with the high vision. It's been great catching up. Hopefully we covered uh, everything. I'm sure we missed a ton of stuff. Also, if there's anything you guys want to talk about, anything at all, uh, drop it in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And I'll catch you all next time with some more Trucking with iVision. Vision.